Okay, in this video, we're going to be having a look at how we can... Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can re-import our updated design in ANSYS without having to remake the whole simulation. Okay, so hopefully save us a bit of time. So I've got my original Workbench file open, and what I want to do is just click on the little drop down here and go duplicate. So that's going to make me a copy of my original analysis. So all the settings will be the same. I've got the same materials, same boundary conditions. Everything's all the same. And now what we need to do is replace the geometry, and then we might have to fix a few of the connection issues. Uh, it will save us a lot of time and hassle. So let's just wait for that to load. OK, so I've got my copy. And what I need to do now is just click on the geometry, right click, and go replace geometry and browse. And now we need to find our new step file. I'm going to click here. So I found my second assembly. Click open. Okay, and then what we need to do is load up mechanical. So yes, we need to reread the upstream data. Okay, so we can see um, the model has reloaded. Um, I've still got the layout that I had last time, so I'm just going to reset the layout. Okay. Um, let's just drag that over a little bit. Give us a bit more room. And what you'll notice is if you have a look in the left-hand side here, we've got a lot of question marks. So question mark means that it's missing some information. So we need to go through this tree now and, and sort out all these question marks. So the first one's in the geometry. So if I click open here, click on the open on the first part, and we can see there's a yellow section in the details plane at the bottom, and it's missing the material, okay? So it's lost its scoping. So we just need to reattach it. So I'm gonna click in here, change it back to aluminium, do the same for the other component. There we go. That's sorted. Uh, the next one, we've got a coordinate system. So I imagine that's lost its scoping too. So if we click on coordinate system here, yeah, it doesn't know what geometry it's attached to anymore. So we can just reattach that, double click, press control, double click again, and then click apply to set the geometry there. Okay, so let's check that that's all set. So if we click on it, you can see that it's, it's pointing in the correct direction for us. It will literally just be a case now of going through and, and reattaching all of these. So you can see the mesh, so the body sizing, it's lost the bodies. Uh, so we're just going to change the selection filter to body, click on both of them, and click apply. Okay, so that's all done. We can remesh this now. So if we go to mesh, generate that mesh. There we go. We've got the, the component meshed again and now we need to go through the boundary conditions so it's lost its scoping for those let's change it back to the auto select double click control control that's not let me do that let's do face let's see there we go so i've got face and then we'll apply that in there so that's fixed so what have we got now? So this is the braking force. So we'll reattach that just here. Apply. So we're doing a steering force. We know that one's over here. Just that. Apply. Literally just need to go along and reattach them all. Shouldn't take too long. It's definitely quicker than having to redo the whole model. Okay. Oh, not done that one correctly. So let me double click. I think I should have four faces there. So let's have a quick look over that. Everything attached as it should be. Looking good. Okay, and then we've got the solution. So now it's just a case of resolving this. Click solve. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got total defamation, equivalent stress, and safety factor. Okay, so in this case, what I've done is I've actually lower than the required safety factor. So I've taken away too much material. And uh, so I need to go in and add a bit of material in. Let's see where that is. So if I click on the minimum here, you can see it's round here. So it's where I was worried that there might be an issue. Okay, so I need to add a bit more material into this section here. Okay, let's have a look at the defamation. So auto scale. Okay, so yeah, we've got a bit too much movement around this section now. That's generating a high strain. Okay, so we've got a stress high, stress too high in that region. So I probably need to add a bit more material around here just to help with that. Okay, yeah, we can see it clearly around here. Doesn't like it at the back face there. Okay, so so you might have to go through this process a couple of times. Okay, it doesn't always work what you do. So and so this is a good example of that. Uh, in terms of your images, so once you've got this completed, if we go back to the document, what do you need to import corporate? So you need to show me a render. So once you've, well, you need to show your stress results of your successful optimization. So I'm not going to put these ones in. They're not successful. Um, and you also, your factor of safety in there. And then you need to show the different views okay of your optimized design so you would just put some screenshots of, of what your geometry looks like okay so you'd show them in this state you would do a picture from the front a picture from the back and you could import those into the, your into your document and then the final step is once you've optimized it you need to show me that your mass is good okay so to find out the mass from ANSYS it's pretty straightforward you click on the component go to properties and then you can see the mass is listed here so you just take a little screenshot of that once you've got it to the required level okay uh, you can take material off lots of different areas of this and uh, yeah you're gonna have to probably go through this a couple of times before you get a result that uh, meets the requirements okay so good luck